Today, SAIC launched the IML6, the first electric car worldwide with a solid state battery. It has 1,000 kilometers of range. The cheapest version of this car starts at 31,800 US dollars. IM Motors is a subsidiary of SAIC, which is of course the Chinese owned uh, massive car conglomerate. They own MG, they have a collaboration with Audi to make the electric vehicles for Audi. Uh, SAIC is a huge business. They make General Motors vehicles in China. Anyway, they have just revealed what is probably gonna be the first ever mass produced electric car worldwide that uses a solid state battery. Uh, this vehicle has been seen doing passing the moose test actually without a driver yeah i mean not only did it do the moose test but it did the moose test without a driver at 71 kilometers an hour which is pretty damn good this vehicle has the option of getting a 130 kilowatt hour battery pack a solid state battery with a cltc range of 1000 kilometers Real world range, you're probably looking at about 800 kilometers EPA range, so around 500 miles. This is not a small car, it's a big car. So they haven't just put a massive battery in a small car to try and get this kind of range. It's actually quite a long and quite a big car. The IML6, as per Car News China, has three different versions. The version with a solid state battery is $45,000. Honestly, that sounds remarkable. I mean, the world's first ever solid state battery to come in an EV and it is big. It's a really big battery. You're going to get a thousand kilometers of CLTC range, so 800, 800 kilometers in the real world, and it's 45,000 US dollars. The cheapest version for $31,800 comes with a, a not a solid state battery, put it that way, and the high performance is 41,500. I am announced that the 900 volt solid state battery, SSB, is called Lightyear. It charges, this battery pack charges at a 400 kilowatt charging speed. You can add 400 kilometers of range in 12 minutes. Now, of course, you need to find the right fast charger. There's quite a few of them in China, not so many outside of China. I am says the range will actually exceed a thousand kilometers. So we could be looking at 900 kilometers on the WLTP cycle around the EPA cycle. Don't know, it could be 600 miles in the real world, possibly. They're saying it's gonna get well beyond a thousand kilometers. The battery is not a fully state battery. Uh, unfortunately, this is where the confusing part comes in. It's actually a semi-solid state battery. So it does have fluid in some of its um, so-called solid spaces. IM Motors claims it's 130 kilowatt hour light year solid state battery is the industry's first mass produced semi-solid state battery with ultra fast charging capability a little bit confusing though calling the solid state battery then revealing in the uh the the, the, the small print that is actually semi-solid state other variant other variants of batteries you can get with this car it has an nmc so nickel manganese cobalt battery uh, they of course uh, use a standard lithium battery 90 kilowatt hour pack and a 100 kilowatt hour pack range 700 kilometers for the 90 and 770 for the 100 kilowatt hour pack. The IML6 is, well, it could be called, it could be sold under the MG brand because it's a, basically a sister brand to MG. It's a pretty big vehicle, about the size, uh, slightly smaller than a Tesla Model S, 4,931 millimeters long, 1,960 millimeters wide, 1,474 millimeters tall. Wheelbase is 2,950 millimeters. Now, apparently it has some features like magnetic suction discs on the back of the front seat that can be used to hold a phone or a tablet. Sounds like a good idea. Um, so you can use yeah, these giant magnets to hold your screens on the back of the back seats for the kids. Or if you're the chauffeur, then uh, your CEO in the back seat can, can use these magnets to hold his maybe his laptop or whatever. Anyhow, it also has a large panoramic sunroof, a 60-40 split fold down rear seats that give more expandability if you want to carry lots of luggage. And it does look like, based on the, the way the boot opens, there's a lot of luggage capacity in this vehicle. It, ca it actually comes with some very advanced technology as well. NVIDIA's Orin X, uh, Qualcomm 8295, and LiDAR. 
It introduces features like multi-angle car log using built-in cameras for in-car vlog recording and city drive, providing local content on the car display. Basically, they're saying it's like, you know, semi-autonomous level two advanced driving. So it can drive hands-free in some situations. It's equipped with DZT dynamic tracking technology, which identifies dangerous objects using a 360 degree camera vision. And it has city NOA driving assistance, which are set to launch across China next year. The car has an Apple ecosystem plugin to mirror images from iPhones. Plus it's got, look at, look at that screen. That screen just takes up the entire dashboard. It's absolutely enormous. Kind of reminds me of, you know, like a gaming studio or something. Personally, I don't like the interior at all. I think it looks um, kind of like IBM, you know, really, really uh, probably high tech, but just sort of super geeky. But it's super luxurious, to be honest, to be fair. That's a lot of screen real estate. I'm sure you can watch movies on it and, you know, do all kinds of stuff. The car features first generation VMC vehicle motion control, smart digital chassis technology equipped with rear wheel steering, intelligent electronic damping, air suspension. Basically, the idea is the suspension is meant to pivot like the Mercedes-Benz S-Class can going around a corner. It's meant to be actually counteract the G-force you feel of going around that corner. So it feels like you didn't really go around a corner. That's, that's kind of a nice feature. BYD has that, by the way, in their more expensive luxury cars as well. The IML6 comes with self-developed hurricane motor with a maximum speed of 21,000 RPM. It'll accelerate from zero to 100 in a staggering 2.74 seconds. So this is probably a faster car than the new Tesla Model 3 Plaid, or the Tesla Model 3 Ludicrous, I should say. The dual motor four wheel drive model has two, there's two versions, but it has two motors, 200 kilowatt motor at the front and a 380 kilowatt motor at the back. I mean, that's a combined power output of 580 kilowatt, so about nine, well, nearly 900 horsepower. Maximum speed, 268 kilometers an hour. That's insanely fast for an EV. And there are three options for the single motor models. Three different power options, 216 kilowatt, 248 kilowatt, and 300 kilowatt. Now, there's actually some really interesting colors as well. Very unusual. There's pink, yellow, as, as well as gray, black, and white. And plus, there's more colors announced, being announced later. Now, if you're wondering about this car, is it just a Chinese-only car? No, it's not. Um, I am Motors. They plan on selling cars alongside MG vehicles in numerous countries worldwide, particularly Europe. Not so sure about other locations if they're coming to Australia. I've heard rumors they are coming to Australia. Can't say that that's true. No one really knows for sure yet. So IM Motors is, it's not just owned by SAIC or just not, not just owned by the Chinese government. It's actually part owned by the Alibaba Group. And the purpose of this brand apparently is to try and rival Tesla and Neo, so it's meant to be like a more upmarket version of cars, meant to be more upmarket than MG, and it's positioned that way. Of course, the prices are higher than MG, but I mean, as you can see, this is this is a super high performance luxury car. Basically, um, some people might say the luxury is dubious, but I would say it's a luxury car for sure. The performance is incredible. The range is astonishing. Whether that battery is fully solid state or you know mostly solid state. Doesn't really, doesn't really make a whole lot of difference, does it? A thousand kilometers. I mean, if this thing even gets 600 miles real world range in the real world, that's, that's gonna be a, a revolutionary vehicle. And I think we're likely to see these overseas within the next 12 months. Guys, let me know what you think about this. I, I'm quite shocked by how good this car sounds. It sounds absolutely amazing. Now, personally, I'm skeptical on Huawei's uh, and Xiaomi's new vehicles, new EVs. They haven't built EVs before. They never built a car before. Think about it, right? People are saying these cars are gonna be incredible. They're gonna be amazing. Uh, there has been a few crashes. Some people say that um, that's the fault of influencers. I don't think that's fair to say because not every crash was an influencer. But my point here is this. These guys have never made a car before and there's enormous amounts of hype around these vehicles when we just don't know if they're gonna be any good. Look at Fisker's first car. It's got mountains of problems. And that's being manufactured by a company who has made cars many, 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 many times for many manufacturers before. Think about it, right? Uh, we've got Magnus Steer in Austria who manufacture 
that car for Fisker, the Fisker, Fisker Ocean vehicle. Magnus Steer have made cars for Volkswagen. They made cars for Jaguar. They make numerous vehicles and it's plagued with problems. Uh, what about, um, for example, Lucid's first vehicles? They had numerous issues as well. Now, Xiaomi and uh, obviously Huawei, their, their first cars could be great. We just don't know. In my opinion, this is the car people should be rushing out to order instead of these uh, Xiaomi cars, which there's no, there's just no way of knowing how good they are. I think this is significantly better. And it's coming from a company who's built, I mean, tens of millions of cars. They know how to manufacture cars. There's previous history. The first versions of these are probably going to be, I mean, they're not going to be perfect, but I reckon they're going to be pretty damn good. I don't really understand all the hype around those other vehicles, but there's been no hype around this at all. None. No one's talking about it. They should be. Thanks for watching.